Compared to images captured in air, underwater images are typically of lower quality, oversaturated in blue, and undersaturated in red. As seen in the footage at the top, the appearance of an underwater target changes with the range from the camera to the target. This causes problems for autonomous underwater vehicles because they rely on appearance matching for more sophisticated tasks like place recognition, object detection, and tracking. Thus, it is important to be able to reconstruct the true color images shown below. The poor image quality is the result of two key phenomena in underwater image formation. The first is spectrally selective light attenuation, where light reflected from increasingly distant targets quickly loses most of its red component and some of its green. The second phenomena is backscattering, whereby light reflected off particulate in the water mixes with light reflected from the target, creating a haze over the image. Together, these two phenomena produce images that do not capture the true colors of the scene. To reconstruct the true color of underwater images, we follow a standard two-step approach. The first step is backscatter removal, which produces an image free from the haze caused by backscattering. The second step is color deattenuation, whereby scaling the color channels of an image appropriately recovers the true colors of the scene. There has been significant progress in the development of algorithms for adaptive color correction robust to variations in imaging conditions, including changes in depth, turbidity, and illumination sources. However, the leading algorithm see-through requires expensive image processing operations, making it too slow to feasibly run an image stream in real time on board an AUV. We therefore sought to develop a more efficient approach to enable robust in-situ autonomy. To this end, we developed neural network models that use novel architectures and activation functions to match the state-of-the-art image formation model used by see-through. These networks can be trained rapidly using backpropagation and stochastic gradient descent, and are easily implemented in deep learning frameworks such as PyTorch. We call our approach Deep Sea Color. In our experiments, we observed that Deep Sea Color achieved strong performance on the see-through dataset. When compared to a baseline contrast stretching algorithm, we can see that Deep Sea Color is much better at reconstructing the color of distant targets. On imagery collected by our AUV platform during reef survey missions conducted in the U.S. Virgin Islands, we found deep sea color could efficiently recover the vibrant colors and details of the reef, as seen when comparing the raw imagery at the top to the color reconstructed imagery below. Compared to the see-through algorithm, deep sea color achieves qualitatively and quantitatively similar results, but is capable of running at much higher frame rates, making it better suited for real-time use. In upcoming field experiments, we plan to measure the impact of color correction on AUV performance in more sophisticated autonomous tasks like target tracking.